The Swinging Cheerleaders is a 1974 sex comedy directed by Jack Hill and starring Joe Johnston, Cheryl Smith, Roseanne Caton, Colleen Camp, Ron Hajak, Rick Carrot, Jason Summers, and Jack Denton. Football! Hey, you know, that's three times in a row. I think we got a winning team. So our crowds. We need a new cheerleader. Yeah. Let's have tryouts this week. I'll post a notice in the student center. Okay. You're having cheerleader tryouts in the middle of the football season? What the fuck? Well, look, John, what I really mean is there's no reason why you and I can't win just as much as the team. Do you, uh, follow me? Um, let's take a walk. Point shaving! Well, I think Buck likes her. Buck isn't voting. I vote no, no, no. I vote yes. I vote yes. And that's it. Kate Corey's on her cheerleader. Democracy in action. A waterbed. And Kate reveals why she wants on the squad. You see, I need a topic for my journalism term paper. So I started thinking, what is the most exploited, demeaning activity on campus? You want know the meaning? Watching this movie. Buck, you're terrible. Isn't it awful when these football players take liberties? Well, they must think they're heroes or something, the way they carry on. Whoa! Does somebody smell walleye? Then they have some girl talk. Honey. We've all been trying to get this kid laid for quite a while, but she seems to have something against it. Oh, come on, Lisa. You mean she has never done it? A virgin? We might as well burn her at the stake. It's not that he doesn't try. He just gets me to a certain point. Then I just can't go any further. Act 6 of Ninja Gaiden? What the fuck are you doing? Flying to your date? You fucking idiot. Cheers. Cheers, Andy. Don't you want a toast? May I have some wine? This is why you're not getting laid. For Christ's sakes, what's the matter now? Nothing. I just can't. Food poisoning? It's just not natural. You're almost 20 years old. What are you saving it for? <laughs> Maybe you can live like this, but I can't. I've had it. Goodbye. Where are you going? And with that, Ross leaves with blue balls. Old pervert alert. You can get eight to five odds by holding the spread down to six points. It'll be okay against Irwindale, but if we try to squeeze it too much, it just won't look good. Do good, but don't cover the spread. Typical pure isle pigskin jock. Look, I choose my own sex partners, thank you. And don't bother to get on the waiting list because it's for men only. And I don't think that you will quite make it. That was brutal. How's it going? Better than I dreamed it would. I am calling it the Swinging Cheerleaders. Title alert! But they're not really swinging. God damn it, Ron, can't you see I am busy? Hey, now hold on. Getting a little bit touchy, aren't you? Look, I think you're starting to see a little bit too much of those Neanderthals. Those Neanderthals have a few qualities you might take a good look at, Ron. Is this going to be a movie where we hate all the characters? Lisa needs some tutoring, and we all knew where that shit was going. When are you going to get your divorce, Frank? He's like getting a divorce. But these things take a lot of time and a lot of money. I don't know how much longer I can go on pretending I don't know you. It's tearing me apart. Ironically, her name is Lisa. Cheerleading. Second team coach. That's what I said. But we have to score. You think you're the only one who can play ball, but give some of the other kids a chance. Hmm. Buck sets up a meeting with Kate. 
Well, I don't know much about football, but I'm sure that Coach Turner probably knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, except for today. I just have the feeling that something's wrong. Why did you ask her? Oh, that's why. After Kate spread, Ron explains the spread. Well, how was it? Not bad. In fact, it was great. I loved it. Now, would you like to hear the details? Sure, let's hear it. And Kate fucking leaves. That's fine. More weed for me. Uh-oh. Now what you need is to do it the first time with a complete stranger. Somebody you will never see again. That's great advice. And that stranger happens to be Ross because convenient. I've been clubbed by the police. Tear gassed by the National Guard. Arrested and jailed by the jackals of the White House. I thought it was because you were a scumbag. Then Andrea requests an examination. I'd wonder if you'd mind. I mean, if you could tell. Could I tell? Yes, with, with your hand, I mean. I guess she liked it. Come on, let's do it some more. I want to do it every way there is. This is my first time. I want it to be wonderful. Are you ready for this? We are going to gangbang a cheerleader. What the fuck? The next day? She staggered into my place at 5 o'clock this morning. She wasn't able to talk very clearly about it, but I got enough to know what to do about it. What do you mean? She'll tell you if she wants to. Wow, this movie called The Swinging Cheerleaders just got dark. You ready for this? Football! Oh, Lisa. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. I don't give a shit if you're engaged. He's not leaving his wife. What kind of investments? I don't know. It's kind of shady, I guess. Some kind of gambling thing. But whatever it is, he always wins. Gambling, you say? Kate informs Buck about what she discovered. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, silly boy. What he wants to say is that we're officially announcing our engagement. I don't think Buck knew either. I think you want to read these. Why on earth would I want to read anything of yours? They're not mine. They are the deathless prose of a certain mutual friend. You fucking rat. You're not going to. In fact, you're going to hold them so tight, Mesa will lose the game. Lose it? But, John, we can have an undefeated season. Yeah, we knew that was coming. He's engaged to my daughter, Marianne, and we'll give him a good piece of the action. He's no fool, Fred. Just suppose he says no. There'll be an alternative. If he doesn't play along, are you going to kill him? And the cat's out of the bag. I knew you were a bitch from the first time I saw you. Well, you can stew in your own mess from now on, sweetie, because we know what you are. Does Buck know? Well, well, well. If it isn't our liberated, honest little journalist, Miss Kate Corey. I'm sorry. What do you want? Yep. Got something to tell you, bitch. I'm only gonna say it this once, so you better listen and listen good. Holy shit! Washing shit off from white people's baby. And now that he's about to strike it rich, you little tramps come around and switch your black ass and your tits and you think you can take my man away from me? Give that woman a fucking Oscar because she scared the shit out of me and I'm just sitting here watching this thing. Lisa reveals that Frank is in on the betting and the big boys pressure Buck to throw the game to which he says, fuck you. Daddy, don't do that to me. I want to know. It's men's business, Marianne. Bullshit. Holy shit! Buck picks up Kate and is immediately pulled over. Is that a marijuana cigarette? And Buck is busted. Running. 
And Frank is now on the side of the cheerleaders, probably because his wife threatened to stab him like a bitch. Are you a member of the Black Widows? Drink it. They free Buck, who's drunk off his ass, and it's off to the big game. I guess we're friends now. Passes to Baker on the 40. There he goes, 35, 30, 25, 20. Out of bounds on the 18-yard line. And it looks like Mesa State is back on the road to victory. Did they win? Who fucking knows? The Swinging Cheerleaders is a potpourri of bullet points of the era. Feminists. Campus radicals. Point shaving. But in the end, it's just a shitty tits and ass flick. Do I care about these people? Not at all. So at the end, I don't give a shit about your football team or your point shaving scam. There's not much plot here and the movie doesn't even know how to end itself. Probably because it shouldn't have began in the first place. Okay, you got the message.